Deciding which patients need to be admitted and whether they go to the floor or to the ICU is the most important decision you'll make in the emergency room. At our institution, we generally admit patients to the ICU when they have an inhalation injury or when they have a total body surface area burned of greater than 20% or greater than 15% in children and in adults over 60. Of course, these are general guidelines. In the following segment, we're going to talk about the exact vocabulary used to describe burns and describe a systematic approach to the questions that every patient has to be asked. First, let's review a basic checklist that you should follow in the first 30 minutes of meeting a new burn patient in the emergency department. Particularly with serious burns requiring admission to the ICU, there should be an emphasis on prompt transfer out of the emergency room. First, the ABCs. Assess and secure the airway. If necessary, place the patient on 100% oxygen and establish adequate IV access. Ensure that the patient is being kept warm with warm blankets or a bear hugger. Expose the patient completely and examine the patient for circumferential burns of the trunk or extremities and elevate burn limbs above the level of the heart. Rule out traumatic injuries or other major medical problems as necessary. Next, start your assessment. Get a chest x-ray if there's any question of inhalation injury or in medically unstable patients. Get a blood gas and a carboxyhemoglobin level if you suspect inhalation injury. Calculate the percentage of body surface area burned using the burn chart. Do a Woods lamp exam of the corneas. Next, begin treatment. Use a burn chart to calculate the burn area and use that number to calculate your resuscitation fluids. If the burn is large enough to require formal resuscitation, place a Foley to measure urine output. Give a tetanus shot. Don't forget analgesia but be mindful of overdoses of narcotic medications. Remember, ABCs first. Finally, decide on disposition. Should the patient be admitted or discharged? If the patient will need admission, should he or she come into the ICU or go to the floor? The American Burn Association has established that the following injury circumstances are indications for early consultation and referral to a specialized burn center. Partial thickness burns greater than 10%, any full thickness burns, burns to hands, face, feet, genitals, or major joints, electrical burns, including lightning injuries, chemical burns, inhalation injuries, burns in patients with pre-existing medical disorders that can complicate management, prolong recovery, or affect mortality, burns with concomitant trauma where the burn poses the greatest risk of morbidity or mortality, and burn children in hospitals without personnel or equipment to care for children. Also, burn injuries requiring special social, emotional, or rehabilitative interventions. Patients are admitted because we can provide something that they cannot provide for themselves. These are wound care, pain control, therapy, and psychosocial support.